this is Diana Sullivan in Austin, Texas. I'm doing some beginner machine knitting lessons. And this lesson shows a very easy kind of bind off. It is my favorite bind off for all situations where I need to bind off the entire width of the knitting at once. I begin by doing one row very, very loosely. So if my machine is set on tension 5, I'm going to turn it all the way up to tension 9. If it's on tension 6, I might turn it up to tension 10. And if it's on a looser tension, I might unthread this upper tension and just feed, it, feed the yarn very, very loosely by hand. As it is, I usually pull some extra yarn down from above so that it's very, very loose. What I was trying to get is what I've got here, a row of very loose loops for binding off. And what I'm going to do is push all of the needles all the way forward to E position so you can see them above my hand, how they're all the way out. The knitting is back behind the latches. And then I'm going to cut the yarn. Now if I were just learning to do this, I would do it this way. Using a latch tool, I'm going to hook the first stitch by going inside it and catching it in the hook. Then I slide the needle back so that the stitch is inside this hook and the needle's gone. Then I slip the hook into the next loop. Now I have two loops on the hook and I push in until the old loop is below the latch, which I hope is visible, and the new loop is inside the latch. Then I pull that needle out and I tug the new loop through the old loop. That's why this is called loop through a loop bind off. And then I do that again, push in so that one's in the loop, in the latch, and one's below. Pull out the needle, give it the little tug through. And I keep doing that, a loop through a loop, and I could get pretty fast doing it that way. Then after a while, I decide I want to go faster. I can just tuck the loops right off the ends of the needle to bind off. And because the loops are a little bit tighter and smaller than the size of the needle with the latch closed, they tend to stay on and be controlled. Sometimes I have to be a little careful on the last couple to get my thumb in the way so they don't just fall off. When I get to the last loop, I just pull the, the loose end of the thread through the last loop. That's my bind off. And I'm going to get up close to the machine and right in the field of vision of the camera and show how the edge of the bind off looks. From the wrong side, this is how it looks. And if you uncurl it, you can see the chain edge, and from the right side, which is the direction that knitting naturally curls, you can easily see the chain edge across the top. looks just like a hand knitter's bind off. It's fast, it's easy. I use it in many, many situations, and I often use it to bind off ribbing by doing a loose row with the ribbing, transferring to the main bed, and then using this bind off. That appears quite often in my patterns. So this is a loop through a loop bind off.